FDA approves new tr drug treatment for chronic weight management first since 2014. This is a big day. This is a big day, guys. Super excited. Today, the, U the US FDA approved Wegovy, which is, I guess that's the name they're going with, Wegovy, W-E-G-O-V-Y, Wegovy. Wegovy, semaglutide injection 2.4 once weekly for chronic weight management in adults with obesity or overweight with at least one weight-related condition, high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, or cholesterol. That's the classic example they give, um, although there's like some wiggle room there. So um, super exciting, guys. Um, Wegovy is the name that they're branding it. <laughs> I think they could have come up with a better name than Wegovy, but semaglutide 2.4, a once-a-week injection, 30 to 40% of users lose greater than 20% of their body weight taking it. Um, weight loss is maintained at least as far out as 58 to 60 weeks, which is the longest that's ever been demonstrated for a medication, the longest trial that we have, um, sort of showing effective weight loss and ongoing weight loss for that matter. So super exciting coming to an insurance plan near you because guys, They've already had semaglutide, which is the exact same drug available. So the, the rollout should be pretty smooth, I would imagine. So the way in which GLP-1 agonists work, which is the class of medicine that Wegovy comes from, Ozempic, Trulicity, Bidurian, um, Victoza, uh, Saxenda, they're all GLP-1 agonists. The way in which they work is they activate GLP-1 receptors, both within the gut, so around the stomach and small intestine and pancreas, as well as in the brain. And in the brain, they have very interesting sites of action. They have action in part of a neural circuit called the mesolimbic system, which is involved in food, uh, food reward and food motivation. It has targets in something called um, the hypothalamus in the arcuate nucleus, which is part of the primitive brain, sort of that uh, subcortical brain, and that is the site of appetite regulation in the body, the primary appetite center. That's where the brain says, I'm hungry or I'm satisfied, I don't need to eat more. Um, and part of it, and sort of the cumulative effect of both the peripheral action, so the action on the receptors in the gut as well as in the target uh, tissues in the brain, um, leads to a, an effect where people feel like they don't need to eat as much, they're not drawn to as much food, they're not motivated to eat certain types of food as much, usually those foods are problematic, um, so they, it may help with cravings, they feel more satisfied in eating less food, so they don't feel like they have to eat more, like oftentimes I describe it as being sort of this effect, they, they're like, I can finally diet and not feel like I'm suffering, my body feels like it's normal to be at a lower weight. That's the first time in my life I've ever felt like that. That is how these medications work when they work and are effective. Um, so that that is sort of both the sort of nuanced scientific explanation as well as um, what I would say is more of the layman explanation. They they make your body work better for you. They don't they don't burn fat. I should say so. If there is a conception around that. They don't, they don't like, uh, your fat doesn't dissolve or anything like that. They, they are a tool to help you be more successful in losing weight. And so they, in many ways, are like a spotter at the gym. Your efforts, your good intentions, your efforts in, in trying to eat healthy and doing the right things get supported further. And so they really amplify your ability to lose weight. That's how I would think about it when I'm talking about these medications from a patient standpoint. Okay. Wegovy is a subcutaneous injection. I will show you guys. Oh, here we go. I've got it here. So the injections look very similar to this. This is a dummy injector. This is for the uh, medication called Trulicity. They're like this. They have a little dial here that you dial in the dose. You put it flesh with the skin. Trulicity, the benefit of Trulicity has an auto injector inside. The needle is never exposed to you until you inject it. I would have to cock it and reload it, but um, the, ne the needle is never exposed to you. You inject it in and uh, it auto withdraws and then you're done. Um, so super cool, really cool technology. 
it's like the needle is like the tiniest little thing you've ever seen. I've had patients that um, literally will syncopize with blood draws who tell me, Doc, you said it's an injection. I wouldn't call that an injection. I said, well, I mean, that's what they tell me. So if you don't think it's an injection, that's up to you. <laughs> but it's considered an injectable, yes. So um, yeah, very well tolerated. I've never had someone stop any of these injections because of concerns about the injection. So the SELECT trial, which is looking at cardiovascular outcomes in semaglutide 2.4 is ongoing. I think they're, it's supposed to be done at the end of 2022 with data reported in 2023, looking at the multi-year cardiovascular outcomes. And they're hopeful that it will demonstrate uh, reduction in cardiovascular events, reduction in cardiovascular disease. Um, I suspect it will. Listen, like uh, we, we kind of understand the science about this now. You lose greater than 10% of your body weight, you're going to have a difference in health factors across the board whether it's decrease in risk of diabetes, improvements in cholesterol, improvements in blood pressure, uh, reduction in cardiovascular disease. Like that's pretty clear. That's why I always talk to patients when they come in, like, do you have a goal for me to lose weight? And you guys heard my spiel on best weight. If you've seen my videos, that's hundred percent true. But I definitely tell them at least, you know, my goal would be at least to lose 10%. Whatever we lose beyond that is sort of a best weight philosophy. And so I don't ever like tell them like there's a set number per se, but I, I always shoot for at least 10% because we know that's, that's where the health benefits are really are starting to become realized. They are the same side effects of all the other GLP ones, which are typically um, GI related, most common being um, nausea. The nausea that one experiences is often temporary and it doesn't last very long. It's usually transient. Um, some people in the extreme cases that they're very sensitive can experience, you know, some, uh, some constipation, diarrhea, even vomiting. So that has to be monitored. And some people may, if they don't tolerate early on, may just have to stay on lower doses for a longer period of time. We, I certainly do that with some of the, many of the other GLP ones. And in that case, if you can keep people on lower doses, their body does become sort of immune to the side effects for the most part, and, and you can go up on the doses later. So um, it, you know, this is where having someone who's experienced, unfortunately, um, not every physician is experienced in prescribing these. So they may, you know, increase the dose too quickly or not be aware of how to titrate it appropriately. And uh, it's helpful to have uh, someone who's experienced in this regard um, be, be leading the front that way. Um, but usually the side effects are pretty well tolerated. Um, you may have some small side effects, but once again, um, I've never stopped anyone for any of the side effects related to these drugs. So whether it's Saxenda, Trulicity, um, Ozempic, I've never stopped anyone. They've always, we've always been able to find a way for them to stay on it. Now I've stopped people because they weren't effective. I acknowledge that. Um, or we switched them because we thought there was a better drug for them. I've done that. I've never stopped someone because they didn't tolerate the side effects. So if that's of any uh, value to you.